I got to a point in my existence with my head insisting I live to kill. Spilling my ills, I was engulfed to go public and show my life was rubbished. Everything about me obsessed to mess a man's life up and leave his family with the knowledge I cut his head off. I preserved me to decay them. I carved me in mayhem, a stone cut from the same element. My mother gave birth to a story that was shame men. This became my importance. Every day that came and went, venting mentally my mentality, I sedated my impatience with drugs and booze. I stalked and wrote the horror story. Lies gave me my act as an asset. My ego relaxed and is sociopathic. Every day I fight with my lack of patience, so I sedate me. How can I have my dream to be a nightmare? I'm not sharp and my body is not prepared, so I cleaned my act. Trained hard to let the steam off. Cleaned my diet to strengthen my mean heart, but it cleaned my heart. Thoughts were feeding my fed up, love was fixing my head up. A new story was starting to write itself, I was liking myself. I realised I was not going to just kill him. I was going to kill me. Fuck that. Now I live to shine. Relax my spine in the quiet of the divine that gives the sky to cover my life. Vibrant. I feel facilitated for no reason other than something loves me to be alive. I oblige. With body, heart and mind I have found my spirit. My creativity is how I live. My life realises it. Read my manifest manifested, from cursed to blessed. The hand of the divine gave me time to rise and rest. Blessed. I eat, sleep, train and move. To be the best version of me my children can get and our love can ensue. Blessed. I'm grateful. Not hate obsessed. My life was carved from a stone. 52 years is never too late to begin again.